back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I'm going to be stuffing my cash envelopes as well as tracking my spending in my Erin Condren planner. I have the Erin Condren Monthly Deluxe and that will be linked in the description below as well if you're interested in getting a planner for yourself. And there is a $10 off your first Erin Condren purchase linked in the description box below. And then next, quickly, I just wanted to show you some cash envelopes from my shop. I do have this pastel unicorn and rainbow set, and it has some stars, and then I also have some mermaid sets. Hopefully these are all in stock once this video is posted, but I have some really fun sets coming as well. I have some pretty floral patterns that I'm going to have coming. These are two of my newest sets. They're not yet laminated, I just folded them, and I'm about to list them, so they should be listed before this video gets posted but there's some very pretty floral, just kind of neutral colors. So these are my two new sets. And then I also have this blue and gold set with gold foil. I do have a cotton candy gold foil set left, I know. I have some holiday sets. I have a lot of fun sets, so make sure and head over to my shop to check them out if you're in need of cash envelopes. My shop will be linked below as well, and it's called Kate Budgets on Etsy. So now that we have that taken care of, I'm going to start by tracking my expenses. So I'll just open my planner here. And I just wanted to show you that I do have my February calendar spread set up, and I make all of my own stickers in my Etsy shop. So you can find those on the Etsy shop linked below as well. So for January, I was a little bit lame and I didn't print myself out one of my sticker sets. That being said, I'm going to finish tracking my expenses for the rest of January. For personal, I didn't have any, so we will skip to baby supplies. And baby supplies are green. And the last day I marked a baby supply was the 13th. So let's see what else I had. I guess I have two. $15 on the 22nd. $8 on the 26th. And that was for some Tylenol. So here are all my entertainments. And I'm just going to stick down the stickers where they go if I can figure that out here. And then we have medical and I had to switch to red for my other because I ran out of um, orange. Since I'm not using red this month, I'm just going to start using red for other as well. So now for medical expenses, I have $32 on the 20th, and that was, I'll just write medical. And then I also have a $10. I will place those. And it looks like those were both on the 20th, so I should have just used one sticker, but I didn't notice it until after I had wrote them out. And then we have self-care. I don't have anything in self-care. House projects, nothing. Toiletries, I do have one for $9. And that is going to be on the 20th as well. For Valentine's Day, I have something on the 22nd. So I think I'm just gonna add that since I'm running low on stickers. And that is $20. It was crafting supplies for Bryn. Some little gifts I got her for Valentine's Day. And then for our car fund, I had $40 on the 18th. So I'm gonna write car. $40. Drew was putting some new wipers on our cars. So we have that there. And then I think I have another one. 
So let's check. Oh, nope, nothing else for car. And then I had a couple unbudgeted expenses, which for that, I'm going to use pink. I just decided. So I'm gonna put unbudgeted and put that in here. And then my first one will be batteries for $15. And then the second one will be some crafts for $17. And those were both on the 28th. those on there and those are my last expenses for the month and I almost forgot to mark my no spends so I'm going to do that quickly And it seems to be t Thursday and Fridays I'm having mostly no spends, which is kind of funny now looking at the pattern. That's going to be all for marking my expenses and now I'm going to stuff my envelopes. So the first one that I'm going to start with is going to be my personal, and my personal gets $75. So I'm just going to take that out here, and then my husband's gets $75 as well. So I will also take out his $75. And then I also have money in my personal, of course, so I'm going to sort this in, and then I will count out how much I have saved up. And I'm currently saving up for a trip to Florida, and I've also found a new thing that I want to save up for, which is a GoPro for my vlogs. So I'm planning on saving up for that. That might come out of my YouTube money that I make, but I'm not quite sure on that yet. So now I'm going to write down plus 75 and the date, which today's date is the 3rd. And then I'll count my money. So one, two, three, four, five hundred and fifty, five hundred and seventy, five hundred and ninety-five. So there's that. And then next will be baby supplies are kept in my account because I order my baby supplies online. So that doesn't have a folder, but next will be phone. And my phone is going to be up to $30 now. So I will stuff that with $30. I just wanted to write that down. And I'll take that here. And then I pay my phone bill to my mom because I'm on my parents' plan still. So I will save that money in here until I pay my mom. And then my tithe gets stuffed in this envelope, but I do that off camera. And next will be Drew's haircut, which gets $20. That will go in here because he's going to be getting a haircut this week. And then that will lead to my sinking funds because my expenses are done. So my expenses will go back in here and then I'm going to start my sinking funds. And I usually start out with entertainment, so I'll do that. My entertainment gets $50. And then I do also have some left. So let's see how much. So 50, 70, 85, 86 dollars will be in here for when we go on our next date. And then I'm just going to write plus 50 in today's date. And then the next will be gifts and gifts gets 37 dollars. So we have 20, 35, 36, and 37. And then what we have in here right now, so we have 50, 
70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 180, 5, 90, 95, and 99. So 199 dollars. That will go back in gifts. And then next will be clothing. And clothing gets $50. So in clothing right now, we have $6 left. I guess that's better than going over. So we'll have $56. And then I will just write down my $50. Next will be medical, which gets $30. And in medical, I have $15 left. So I'll just add 30, and then I'll have 45 total. Next is house projects. However, we're skipping that this week because we um, did spend a little bit extra a few weeks ago, so we're just skipping that for a while. Um, toiletries gets $25. And currently it has $4 left. So $29 is how much it will have. And then the next section is Valentine's Day, and Valentine's Day gets $20. And this will be the last time that Valentine's gets stuffed, I believe. Yeah, it is. So it has $15 right now, and it gets $20, so $35. We already got Drew's Valentine's present, and we got um, some of Bryn's, so all that's left is mine. And then um, a little bit will be for Bryn in here. So that will be plenty. And next is Car Fund. And Car Fund gets $15. Sometimes we take weeks off stuffing Car Fund if we don't have anything coming up, but I do need an oil change. So I am going to stuff this with $15 this week. And there's a five in here, so that will make 20. And then the next one that we have will be Christmas, which gets $50. We're already saving for Christmas, and now we have $200 total for Christmas this year, which we definitely have a long time for. And then Summer Fund is going to get $20. So now we have $80 in Summer Fund, which is just a fund that we're saving up for some fun money for summer. And Easter is going to get $15 and that's our last envelope. Easter has $45 now and we still have a little bit of time left. I just want to get Bryn a little Easter basket and that's really all the Easter fund is going to be for. So yeah. So now we have self-care and house projects and self-care already has $57 in it so I feel like that's plenty and that's why I'm not stuffing self-care this week just in case you were curious. So that is going to be all for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and then also make sure you're subscribed to my channel before you leave and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!